Next final is the men's triple jump here in Birmingham. We've got 15 finalists in total to see tonight, including the world leader in 2018, Almir dos Santos of Brazil. Will Clay of the United States and has jumped 17.28 this season. That's the third best mark in the world. I know this is one that uh, certain Mr. Olsen is looking forward to. Let's introduce the competitors, the Latvian title holder uh, across uh, sprinting, long and triple jump. Elvis Nissans of Latvia is the Bulgarian, who's been a long-time triple jumper. He's 35 years of age now. Karadiev of Bulgaria. Clive Pullen of Jamaica is a US collegiate champion indoors. Studies at the University of Arkansas. For the 2017 Asian Yaming, champion, Zhu China. Yaming of Yaming. China, an Asian champion last year, 23 Zhu years of age now. Azerbaijani, Azerbaijan, Alexis, Alexis Kopolo. He has Cuban heritage. At six, he was fourth at the London World Champion. And here is a Cuban. Cuba, Just missed out on a medal in London last year. Christian Napoles, we'll hoping to be doing better seven, here. 19 Germany, years of age. Champion. Here's Max Hess from Max Germany. Hess. The youngest ever European outdoor champion at the triple jump. Jumping at number Fabrizio eight, Donato, an Olympic bronze Fabrizio medalist Donato. six years ago in London, a multiple time Italian champion. 41 years of age now. Jumping at nine with a lifetime best of 17 meters Here's 40 for Cuba. Diaz, Diaz. of Cuba. Jumping number 10, the, Olympic the defending medalist, the IAAF World champion, Indoor Champion, Dongbing. Dong Jumping at number 11, twice the national Indoor Champion for the USA. The American Chris Carter. Carter. Yeah, let's go. Let's get this crowd going, he says. Well, the African champion for Burkina Faso. From Burkina Faso, this is Fabrice Zango Hugues. Jumping at number 13 for the USA, silver medals at the Olympic and, uh, Games, Will Clay. Uh, a man who's been used to a silver medal at the Olympic Games, that's a cool composed entrance 14, in contrast to his fellow countryman, Will Clay. This year for and here's Santos. Almir Dos Santos of Brazil. Coming up last on the Portugal list, the Portuguese the jumper, 33 years of age Nelson now. Evora. Portugal's first ever Olympic champion in a field event, Nelson Evora. Well, Christian, what do you think? Well, I think we could have a pretty good triple jump for men's final here tonight. Uh, there's a lot of good athletes here who can do something good. And young athlete, athletes are always interesting to see, like Almir Dos Santos coming up, being and doing a few PBs during this indoor season. Uh, now 17.37 might be close to a, to a new, bigger PB, maybe 17.50 plus. Bin Dong of China, reigning champion. What can he do here today? Will Clay, triple jump, first attempt, first round. We've been seeing a lot of fouls in this first round of the triple jump, so maybe that affected Will also a little bit to get a, a little bit of a safety jump. 17 centimeters left on the board. His hop and his step looked really good. He just seemed like he collapsed in his jump phase to me. So when he landed out, out of his step into his jump, he seemed to collapse. Triple jump man Nelson Evera, former Olympic four world champion. That 
that looks good. He's happy with that. 33 years old, one of my old competitors. Still going strong. Yeah, and his season's best this year is 17.30. is only three centimetres off of his national record and lifetime best. If this is over 17 metres, it go, will go into the lead. Seventeen fourteen. First position for Nelson Evera. Alexis Copeo. Azerbaijan. This guy's one of the few who's in the 18 meters club outdoors. Can he go big here in the World Championship in Birmingham? That's a good one. I love the Cubans. Feels like they're hang time. It's like forever in the air. Like they're defying gravity himself. Especially in that step. That was a really nice step. He really held on to that step for a long time. This is what we were speaking about yesterday, about people going into the pit and not waiting for the ground. They, these guys wait for the ground, wait for the ground to come to them. It's going to eventually happen. Will Clay. Opening round of 16.89 here, second attempt, or second round. Not quite looking as good as he usually does when he's in championship. He is a 17.91 jumper outdoors, several medals. Yeah, he won the silver medal in Rio. And after he did that, he went into the stands and actually proposed to his girlfriend, who's uh, Queen Harrison. She's actually a US hurdler. So maybe that married life is, or that engagement life is getting to him a little bit. 1686, no In improvement for him. Don't get up. Almir Dos Santos, world lead in triple jump 2018. Second round. That's a little bit more what we're expecting from a world lead athlete. Yeah, that was a white flag and a really, really nice jump fade. Did you see that air time that you were talking about? He, it seems like he just hung in the air. Watch this in his jump fade. Really goes for that hopping step. Look at that. Looks like he was about to dunk a basketball. A little bit like a Michael Jordan move across the triple jump. Not even up on the board. Means 27 Still 17-22, moves up into the lead in the early stages of this triple jump final. Back to the triple jump. Already 17-14 in this competition for Nelson Evera. But he's been pushed down to third place. Can he go better? No, he's done 17-30 this season. Looks good, don't it? I think it looks like a good jump for Nelson. Well balanced through the whole jump. Well, look at that smile, I think that says it all. And like you said, he's coached by Ivan Pedroso. And isn't he the same coach to the Roas who just won the gold medal in the women's triple jump? I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> I think that's the case, so, wow. Wow. 17.40 and a world lead. Men's triple jump, Will Clay. Not recognizing Will Clay this far in the competition. I'm expecting much more from this guy. He is able to jump well over 17, 70, up 70, 50. Good jump, good jump. Well balanced jump, white flag. And that puts him in the medal, con con medal contention. Yeah, that was a much better performance by Clay there. That's what you were saying you expected. That's what we all expect from him. I mean, it's taken him a few jumps to get into it. But just like we've seen in the women's triple jump and the men's long jump, it seems like the round three, round four is where these competitions are really, really coming to life. And these athletes are really, really performing well in the fourth, third and fourth round. 
and let's see what this distance is. I think it might be a good one. And wow, look at that, 17.43 in the fourth round. He goes into the first place, gold medal position and a world lead. Almir Dos Santos came into this trip with Jampes. The world leading result of 17.37. Fifth round, currently in third place. That's a good one. Nice attack to the board. Well balanced jump. White flag. That will be close to the other ones. Oh, 1744. Nelson Evera and 17. Oh, that's going to be close. Absolutely spot on on the board. For me, it just looked like he jumped onto his penultimate stride onto the and then onto the board. Collapsed a little bit out of that hop. But look at that. That basketball dunking position. It's a centimetre battle between first, second and third. First, only the final four get a sixth round. Will Clay first out of these four. There's a good jump. Well I don't think it's an improvement. It is close. What does he think? He doesn't know. Better position than I do. Well, let's see. 17.43 so far. Looks around the same distance to me. Maybe a slight improvement. 17.31. Best result of 17.43. Still in the lead. Now he'll have to wait now. We have three more jumps to go. And there's really good triple jumpers left in this final. We we'll all have the capacity to surpass 17.43. It's really interesting actually, and the reason why there's so many more jumpers to go ahead of Clay is because after the third round, he'd only had a best of 16.89. Um, and so when he came into the fourth round, he banged out a really massive, that 17.43, but he was only a, a few places down the list going into that fourth round. So now he's gonna have to sit and wait and see what these, these next couple of jumpers can do. So Capello's just waiting. He's actually got a best jump of 17.17. And he's currently in fourth place. And the second triple jumper of the final four, Alexis Copeo, sixth and final round. Oh. I think he felt that one being a foul one. Fell through also in the jump phase. So he stays in fourth place. No medal for Alexis Copeo this championship. Well, he'll be back. It's a fantastic triple jumper with a PB over 18 meters. <laughs> Almir dos Santos from Brazil. Only 24 years old. Pushed down Nelson Evera into the bronze medal position in his previous attempt. Can he do the same with Will Clay in his sixth round? Push him down to the silver and go up to gold. They'll need to jump 17.43 to do that. No. You know, it's funny actually, because you say sometimes that it's um, the athlete feels it. You hear the crowd, and that's how you know it's a no jump. Nelson Evera, sixth round, last triple jump of the triple jump final. Can he move up from third place? He needs to improve his 1740. He does not. A little bit too much will, too little technique. And I felt that myself, but still a bronze medal for Nelson Evera. 
Yeah, he really attacked that jump. And you know what? You know, that's what you've got to do. But it's amazing for him at the age that he's at and everything he's done with his career to still be here winning medals in 1740 with a national record and a personal best. Can't ask for really much more than that. And Will Clay coming away with the gold medal. And the world champion of indoor 2018. It's his second gold of the World Indoor Championship. He won his first time back in 2012. So, impressive. 1743 world lead. That's amazing. Seems like 40s are the magic number because I think the men's long jump last, was it last night? I forget, but was it all over 840 in the men's long jump? And there is the man who just a few minutes ago was celebrating what he thought was uh, a gold medal and a championship record. Let's confirm how the men's triple jump ended. The final results, Will Clay of the United States with a world lead jump of 17.43 to claim the gold medal ahead of Dos Santos of Brazil and Nelson Evora of Portugal, who set a new national indoor record in taking, in taking the bronze. There's the rest of the finishes from that triple jump final.